faire. Frank Show. My name is Frank Mentone, and I'm the publisher of Totucket Times. Um, if you're familiar with my show, you've been watching the same one for about four months, and uh, I know everybody likes Scott Schoonmaker uh, as well as I do, but uh, I think you're going to be happy that uh, you'll stop seeing Scott, and we'll hopefully start airing shows, you know, every two or three weeks like what like we've done in the past. Um, we got a big one coming up this year. Uh, um, a lot of things happening with the uh, Potato Fest, Potato and Corn Fest, or as uh, I guess now it's Poco, Loco, whatever. <laughs> um, and my guest this evening is uh, Roseanne Kajeski, who's the festival coordinator, and Bill Merrick, who's the marketing supervisor. So the first thing we're going to hit, Roseanne, is maybe your, I'm going to ask the questions and you guys can decide who's going to give the answers. Sounds good. Um, because okay. I have some answers, but uh, <laughs> they're probably not the correct ones. So first of all, when does it start? It, the festival this year will be August 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. It's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And where? Because there are a few people who don't know where, which, what year is this? Is the this is the 14th, 14th year of the festival. Annual festival. And it's, uh, it's actually on the Auger Farm, former Auger Farm property, which is now town owned. So it's next to the police station, next to Tatucket Valley Park. If you're plugging in an address in GPS, we're telling people to use 290 Forest Road in Northford. Okay, you're going to on the screen occasionally see the website. So if you don't get something off the show, um, you can get it in the Totucket Times, but it's a lot easier if you have a computer to just go on the computer and check the website. Um, let's start with a few things. Uh, we'll get back to the particulars about this year, but what, give us some history behind the, the, the when it was just a potato festival. Well, this, uh, this was kind of the brainchild of our uh, former recreation director, who is no longer with us now. But in the town... She's still she, alive. She just doesn't... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's still alive. Honestly, she is. But uh, in the town where she came from, which happened to be my old hometown, and um, she had a potato festival over there. And when she came to North Brantford, she thought that it would be a good thing for this town to have a potato festival. And when the idea was bought up, I don't know who said it, but somebody said, well, we don't have potatoes here in North Brantford. She said, well, okay, it's a potato and corn festival. And that's how it came to be, and we're now in our 14th that. year. <laughs> you do? Yeah, just me. <laughs> <laughs> you know how sarcastic I am. <laughs> I said, why the heck are we having a potato festival? We don't have any pota we don't have potatoes <laughs> so in this town. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I remember who said that. Yeah. So, so then, but... Uh, I, I don't think the corn was the first no, year, right? or the first or second year, Right, maybe. so for a couple yeah, of years, it was a one-day event on Tatucket Valley Park, the softball field, for about four hours. And the first year, we just had potatoes, uh, baked potatoes with all the toppings, and really not entertainment, and that was it for the first year. And people came out and seemed to enjoy it, and it just slowly expanded from there. And we had that cooker that someone, mm -hmm. I mean, it was a beautiful thing. Yeah that someone made, but I mean, the potato festival is in August, it's 100 degrees. And it was a charcoal. And that year it was the same three people <laughs> on the cooker, and every time you lifted the cover up, it was like you just rushed into a fire pit. And um, I'm it's sure very, it's it very much the same with what we're using now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, you open up the door and it's like, uh, you know, you get hit in the face with 475 degrees heat, in addition to the heat outside. But while we're talking about that old-fashioned charcoal cooker, um, one of the big news of the festival this year is that we have raised enough funds to purchase a brand new cooker from Holstein uh, that has been delivered this past week. We're very excited about it. Brand spanking new, shiny, not used. Wow. And uh, it's currently stored at Public Works. That's go they're going to put it through their paces in the next couple of weeks and be ready to fire it up on August 6th for everyone. Now, is the town going to rent it out afterwards for other things that, well, the, you know, they could charge rent to get some of the rent? <laughs> yeah, that's yet to be determined. We'd like um, our local community organizations 
to possibly be able to use it. Fire department does that nice golf tournament and they cook. So we hope other local community organizations will be able to use it in some form. Okay, so it's the brainchild of PM Gary, yes. um, who's no longer with us. Uh, <laughs> no longer with a town uh, in North Bramford. Right. <laughs> She's with another town <laughs> in Connecticut. The, um, who puts it together every year? Because I know that we have a very small park rec paid staff. Correct. So it's, it's got to be more than the, the five people. That yep, we, we have a festival we, committee. We have uh, one paid uh, festival coordinator, and it's, uh, we have a committee of 25. About 25, a very dedicated committee. Um, each person or couple persons uh, handles different uh, different portions of the festival and reports back to the coordinator. Okay, and they have so, but but so you have twenty five people on the committee. There's there's a, a a larger, much larger group of people that actually help out for the four days. Or right. Right. absolutely. Yep, yeah, we have between a hundred and a hundred and fifty volunteers throughout the course of the weekend, from children really. Uh, children with their parents through our senior citizens um, some of them over 90 years old that wrap the potatoes at the senior center prior to the festival 90 years yeah. old. over 90 years old wrapping yeah potatoes. wrapping potatoes for us I don't make them lift the boxes <laughs> why not <laughs> just wrap the potatoes <laughs> why not <laughs> well, at least the box lifting to me <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so it, it's 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 ba it's what are the different committees maybe you can go over that um, Briefly, well, I mean, we, I have we have the parking committee. Uh, parking and managing the shuttle buses is pretty complicated when you're running shuttle buses in from two different sites, and just um, you know parking all those cars in a couple of different uh, parking areas that are on site. Um, we have the, of course, there's the marketing committee, which takes care of. Uh, that's me, by the way. That takes care of getting the word about the festival out to um, the radio, the TV, the newspapers, local papers. Um, we do have somebody that's working in the office that is taking care of um, getting it out on the social media. Um, uh, we have uh, food vendors, yeah. craft vendors. Right. Um, it's, it's a multitude. I have, I have a sponsorship supervisor, helps us go out and solicit sponsors from local businesses. So when, when this festival, as we, we mentioned earlier, it runs the 6th, the 7th, 8th, and 9th. Mm -hmm. um, so this festival is over on August 9th, 2015. When do you begin working yep. on the August you know it. 2016? <laughs> August 10th, you, we're you, writing you our right notes. To, right. <laughs> we're uh, writing our notes for next year to find ways to make it better. So. <laughs> All right, now let's talk a little. I, I, will, be, I will be in the parking lot this year. Yeah, because the <laughs> yes. ba the baseball team, I guess, uh, volunteers. Yes, they have. And the last couple of years, um, I was walking and wounded. Um, I'm still wounded and and not walking as well as most people. But uh, I, I think I may I may not do the whole four hour shift, That's and okay. I may bring a chair. That's but, okay. Uh, right. well, but I'm still loud that. enough to <laughs> yell from you know from from one end of the field to the. We will be next. happy to have you, and that is part of our volunteers, which I didn't get to say, is that we do have the teams uh, from the high school, our local North Bramford High School, who uh, take a shift in our parking area. Uh, the coaches come with them. Um, we have girls basketball, the boys baseball team. We have the uh, girls field hockey team this year. Um, boys basketball so we're very excited about this and it's a great way for these students to get out into the community and give back to the community as well okay and is there a charge for the parking there is a charge for parking on-site parking is ten dollars for regular parking fifteen dollars for premier parking which is up near the entrance gate and um, on Thursday evening, which is our local night, we offer free parking to North Brantford residents. So you'll be asked to show an ID, but it's free parking on Thursday night. Now there's also free parking offered at two ends of town, at the North Brantford Intermediate School and at the Stanley T. Williams Community Center. We offer free shuttle parking. The shuttles will run the entire time that the festival is open. 
So oh, really okay, because there was confusion one year because right, that, yeah, that's we've it resolved didn't run that every one. every right. day. Yeah, we've, we've, we've that, that's been rectified. Right. So yeah. that's we've resolved every that. the whole the whole time okay. the festival is open. And if you want to stay to the bitter end, there will be always one last shuttle going to each end of town. You won't be stuck there. No, going, oh, I promise. <laughs> um, okay, why don't while we're talking about. Um, the, the parking is, is okay. It's free if you if you take a shuttle. It's paid. It's it's per car, not per person. That's correct. Okay. And what about admission into the uh, it is festival admission, itself? Admission is free. Uh, cool. Admission has always been free, and that's one of the best things about this festival. Through the you know the hard work of the committee and the support of the community and the support of our sponsors, we've been able to keep um, to keep the admission price free. Which is which is a good thing. That's good for the community. So it makes it's, it more it's, of it's possible to park your car for free and get into the festival for free, and you don't have to lay a dime out. And if you don't have any money, you don't even have to eat. You can just uh, listen to the the entertainment, exactly. which we'll get into right. in a minute. Yeah. Um, if you do have money, we want you to eat and get potatoes and <laughs> stuff, so that people keep coming back as vendors and things like that. Um, okay, so Thursday is okay. Let's talk about what we have. At the actual festival, as far as um, the food, I know some days you have. I know there's a, um, a craft thing. I don't know yep. if that's every. Uh, every day, Let, yeah, let's yeah, go I'll with Thursday and then go through the sure. go okay. through the week. I'll do Thursday because I, I have something that Frank okay. isn't aware of. Oh wow! I'm not a, <laughs> so Thursday, our hours are from four to eleven. Okay. And again, it's called Throwback Thursday for the amusement company. So our wristband prices for that evening are twenty dollars instead of twenty-five. And by the end of this week, we hope to have our five-dollar off discount ride coupons distributed throughout the town. Where they're located will be po posted on Facebook and on the patch. And um, on the website. And on the website, yes, and on the website. Which will show up. There oh, we go. Thank Look you. at that. All I had to do was oh, say it. And there it is. It's, it's like, like magic. magic. <laughs> but uh, new this year, we have many, many, many new things, but new this year, and which will be near and dear to Frank's heart, is we will be having on Thursday evening at Tatucket Valley Park an alumni co-ed softball game. Ah. And we have many of your former players coming back, baseball and softball players, and they would love to see you there. <laughs> oh, alumni softball and um, baseball. Mm -hmm. At six o'clock, to Tucket Valley Park. I don't know if I know how to get to that park. <laughs> have, I, have I ever been there, been there before? Yes, we've been yeah. many uh -huh. times. <laughs> uh, so we're very, very excited about that uh, because we do um, advertise Thursday night as local night. We try to have a local entertainment. Uh, the festival will be opened at 4.30 that evening with our North Bramford High School select chorus singing the national anthem uh, and other local. And they are tremendous. I have to they say are. that because every time I've heard them doing the national, they've done it, I've heard them at football games and oh, stuff. Yeah. I mean, they are good. Yep, that's why I want them to. Carnaroli still the... Uh, the head of, I think he's still the head I of the uh, yeah. that group. So we're very excited to have them. They did it last year for us, and we're very excited to have them back. And um, so Friday so night. So Friday night. <laughs> Friday, our hours again are 4 p to, uh, to 11 p.m. And for the first time this year, we have not one, but we have two country music bands on Friday night running back to back. We have the uh, Christopher Robin Band, which is uh, nationally known with uh, tour dates throughout the country. And we also have the Coyote River Band, um, which is Connecticut based, and they're uh, country pop and rock, and they will be playing uh, back to back. Uh, we have, of course, the car show that runs um, on Friday night, and that is going on out in the baseball field. Yeah. It's happening too. Um, Nat, there's also uh, contests going on. There's pie eating going on that night. There's the jump rope run going yeah. on that night too. Um, what? That's yeah, I think there's one other thing going on that night too. Of course, we got the amusement rides going, and um, can you mention 92.5? Oh, no, yep. that's your Oh, yeah, your that's baby. right. That's and um, <laughs> for the first time this year, we have uh, Country 92.5 sponsoring with us, and uh, they will be on site that night uh, also with giveaways and uh, little contests. And um, yeah, we're thrilled to have them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And then Saturday, anything? Uh, oh, Saturday. Oh, Saturday. <laughs> Saturday's, Saturday's the big one. <laughs> so Saturday, we... Um, 
I'll um, I'll start I'll start with the fireworks that we're going to have at 9:30. The fireworks 9 are 9:15. The fireworks are are absolutely the best. Um, they are they are absolutely amazing. Um, so we'll be having that fireworks show again, uh, weather permitting, at uh, at 9:15. Uh, of course, we've got live bands going. Um, probably from mid-afternoon on, mm -hmm. uh, both uh, mostly on the main stage um, there. And uh, not to mention, you know, the vendors will all be in full swing. We have um, over 46 craft vendors, I believe. Oh, no, 55. We have 55 craft and vendors. And 24 food vendors. And 24 food vendors, and they will all be in, uh, in full swing, too. So there'll be a lot going yeah. on. And now also on Saturday, of course, because we're an agricultural community, we do do our tractor pull on Saturday, again, weather permitting. And we also offer hay rides on Saturday, and it takes you back to the back part of the auger parcel, which I hear is a wonderful ride. Yeah, if you have to do it, I'd like to do it this year. <laughs> I think I already got press releases on the tractor pull from... Uh, Oh, from Mr. Potter. Mr. Yeah. Potter. Oh, yeah. good, 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 um, good. Yeah. <laughs> they, um, okay. And and can I just hit on Sunday? Because Sunday's my baby. I was okay. going there. Go oh, ahead. Okay. So Go Sunday's ahead. my baby. We um, have a, a new exciting thing coming up on Sunday. Um, we had been approached by McDonald's Happiness Tour, which is a tour that they, McDonald's is doing throughout New England. And it's promoting um, their healthy Happy Meals. So they'll be giving out free samples of their Golgurt and their apple slices. And at 9.30 on Sunday, we're going to have a special visit by Ronald McDonald. Wow. Oh, so we're very excited about 9 that. 9.30 on Sunday? 9.30 yeah. on Sunday. Now, that kind of coincides with we have our 5K cross country. Yes, we have to mention yeah. that or oh, Floyd, yeah. Floyd will shoot me. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, Floyd Floyd is the, uh, is the track coach in North Brantford High School, and he organizes the 5K. And I always tease him about how... Uh, I, I coach baseball and I help out with other sports, but Floyd actually That's runs true. with the students w during during That's the season. True. And uh, I always say, you know, you know, Floyd, I'd help coach that, <laughs> but I don't. He actually, we had a dinner Sunday, and he actually said, um, "Hey, you said you're walking now. You're going to run in the 5K <laughs> this year." I said, Floyd, I can't even walk from my car to the starting line, but he's. Uh, Floyd will take anybody to run well, in the 5K. We do do so. a 5K walk, you know. Yes, yes. I, <laughs> I, I just in case so. you're interested. I, I think there's a tater tot run, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, maybe it I might be do, a little old. For yeah, that one. maybe <laughs> I can do Is there an age yes, requirement there is or an just age, a, age uh, limit? <laughs> you know, I'd probably get beat that. Yeah, and not to mention, we also have our motorcycle show going on yes, on Sunday morning. On Sunday also. morning, right. And um, new last year was an all day folk fest. So there's seven bands in seven hours under the food tents. And uh, this year we're bringing in some new bands. And it was very popular last year, so we decided to go with it again this year. Now, Sunday doesn't run. Sunday stops, what, about six, four or five? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Okay. Six o'clock. And, uh, uh, but all the vendors are still there, and, and they're happy to serve you, you know, no matter what time you come. And then the park rec department is closed for the next week? Mm, uh, unfortunately, so, no. Um, <laughs> Could you suggest that? But, um, <laughs> Okay, talk about some of the, I mean, we know the rides, the, the crafts, I mean, the, talk about some, are there any different foods coming in this year or um, yeah. it's something, to def, you know, something that you came for last year, but maybe there's something else. Uh, yeah. We did, again, um, very popular this year is all these food truck festivals. So we've been approached by many vendors to become a part of the festival. So we do have some that have kind of circulated throughout the food truck festivals that have been happening around Connecticut, one of them, and they all want to make a specialty food for the potato festival, of course. Yeah. One of them is called Chompers. They make little tiny balls. Um, uh, well, he makes a cheeseburger one and a chicken parmesan one. But when he heard it was uh, Potato and Corn Festival, of course, he's going to make a potato and corn one. <laughs> oh, like a corn fritter. I only guess. Only a chomper. Yeah, only a chomper. That's what his, his name is. So he's new to us this year, um, as well as, um, oh, I can't think of the name. Street Eats is a new vendor to us. They're new it to the industry, and they will be doing sausage and pepper, chicken parm, and meatball grinders. 
And of course, we'll have the potato and corn. It wouldn't be the festival without the fried dough from company three. Yeah. Right. From company and, there, and the so kettle corn is back this year. I saw of that. <laughs> yep, kettle, kettle corn is back. is back. My daughter will be happy. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> and we do have another new vendor, and the name is escaping me because they are new, but they do a mashed potato ball filled oh. with whatever toppings that you would like. So we people were really reaching out to us, connecting with the potato and corn theme. And my favorite, because I'm a seafood lover, we have, uh, for the first time, had a seafood vendor, Lobster Craft, who will be doing lobster rolls. Okay, now, you know, in case my son and daughter who never watched this show, but <laughs> they might happen to go by the television or something, uh, and they've got me on a program. Do they have like a salad and yogurt Ooh, bar? Or, uh, that's you know, going to be tough. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be walking around looking at fried dough pizza. <laughs> I don't think my son and daughter are going to be in town that week. So, so maybe, can I, maybe can, cheat uh, a little. I can <laughs> cheat a little. But uh, any uh, vendors besides the fire department from town that have been there? Yes. Um, Thank you for mentioning that. We are so thrilled to have the Knights of Columbus from St. Augustine and St. Monica's Church. They will be uh, doing steamed cheeseburgers in our food tent. And uh, we are just thrilled to have another nonprofit organization under the food tent uh, serving food. And we'd love for others to jump on board in the future. Okay. Let me get to some of these things because the time <laughs> just goes by and then somebody's <laughs> whispering in my ear. I say, oh. Time. Um, I always play the devil's advocate, so. You do hear from some people the money. Where does the is this coming out of my taxes? Or what if it rains for four days and they don't make money? Where does the money the money come from? The money um, that is made after all the expenses are paid each year after the festival gets put right back into the festival, and so far the festival has been able to support itself um, quite well as we go along. And it's still a town function. It's just that it has its own. It's just a separate account within the town. Right, it's a separate town. account within yeah. the town. But not anything, no, there's no taxpayer funds used. Okay. And let's see, 25,000 people. Oh, we already talked about parking. Okay, handicap accessible. Is there? Absolutely. There is handicap parking accessible right by the main gate when you come in. It is still $10 to park. You would go in the main entrance as everyone does. It is a $10 fee to park, but then they uh, direct you on to where the handicapped parking is right by the main gate. Right, and it is by the main gate because uh, last year um, when I pulled in, there was a problem with where they were parking. And somebody said to me, oh, you're with the newspaper and you're a sponsor. Go in the front. And they, I, I felt bad. Well, I didn't feel that bad because my knee was bothering me. And I felt pretty good. <laughs> well, we I, I was a big <laughs> shot, and they let me park right well, in the front. Well, I was front. just, we but do try to take care of our sponsors. The handicap <laughs> area is right in the front, so yes. you get up and you walk, you walk right, right, right in. Right through the front. Do you gate. still have the information desk uh, table there? Yes. Yep. So that if you want to know where you're going and you don't want to, you know, walk halfway around the park mm -hmm. to get to yep. a certain thing, there's, there's yep. a... Uh, you know, there's there's a, a table there. Um, did we talk? We talked about new things this year. Mm, yeah. Softball yep. uh, tournament. Uh, oh, we do have another new thing on Saturday. We forgot to mention, and th and this is clean for on air. Oh. <laughs> uh, at eleven o'clock on Saturday again at Tatucket Valley Park Field. It's in the afternoon morning. Oh, eleven o'clock right. in the morning. Eleven o'clock yeah, in, in the morning. Eleven o'clock in the morning. That's right. Yes. The uh, cornhole tournament. The cornhole tournament. Okay. Cornhole what tournament. Is that? Uh, I'm going to guess that's a putting. It's not putting. It's uh, <laughs> no, it's not. It's uh, and I had not heard of this before, and I had to ask uh, about it so that I could use it um, as as my part of the deal. But what it is, it's basically um, a beanbag toss. Only there are little bags of corn, and it's similar to the game of horseshoes. But instead of using horseshoes and a metal post, you're using a bean bag and this box that has a hole in it at, at the end of a certain length of feet on the ground. And people toss into it and if you get into the hole it's a certain, uh, certain points or if you get it near I believe it's another point. But anyway there will be prize money for this um, given away and I guess this game is quite popular. Yeah, with a with hundred different names, yeah. Right. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Probably. I mean, there, there's one that the, the kids played when, you know, the, the, well, they're not teenagers, they're 
in their 20s when they get drunk and they call that something. I was at my cousin's the other day. We used to have one. I used to run a, a festival, St. Anthony's oh, Church, and St. Anthony was the 13th, yeah. and it was Lucky 13, and we would put 13 on each side and the hole in the middle, and you'd have oh. to throw yeah. the bag yeah, in. So, yeah. so it is, th th everybody, even the uh, adults. Um, may have forgotten something, and I just forgot it as I was, uh, I was thinking about it. Are they going to have the... Uh, I know at one point they were having trouble finding cows. Are they, are they still doing the cow, cow chip raffle? Oh, chip raffle. That's are a doing the, yeah. Cow chip raffle, prize money again for that starts at two fifteen, goes all the way up to twenty five hundred. And that that the money for that goes to the festival and to the football. Is it youth football, high school, both or no, it's North Bramford youth football and cheer. And cheer, it's, it's okay. That's a combined. Those cheerleaders are getting into everything <laughs> now, you know. It's, everything is in cheer. I just got some press releases for the cheer squad. Um, oh, we're happy to, you know, work in conjunction with them. I think it's a great fit. Um, and it's a great fit to the festival, right. of course. And, um, yeah, it's a... It's I joke about the cheerleaders because I used to tease the mothers and tell them it wasn't really a sport. Oh. And <laughs> just to bother the mothers because it's what I do. But I got to tell you... <laughs> I've been to all kinds of sporting events, coached them, watched them, uh, took pictures of them. The scariest thing in the world oh. is when they throw those girls up in the yes. air. I don't care if it's a hockey hit, if it's a football hit. I only cringe when I see that girl go <laughs> up in the air. It's just, to me, that, that scares me. Um, anyway, that, I, I get off the subject sometimes. Okay. Um, we covered most of it. Anything we're missing? Uh, maybe some of the town support. I know the the police department's involved in this. The the, the public works oh, department's absolutely. involved in this. Absolutely. Uh, so there there's a lot that goes into this, other than just the uh, well, I don't want to say other than just 125 <laughs> volunteers, but uh, yeah. you know, there there is there is putting this thing together is just it, it's apt. There's just so many details that have to be taken care of. And that's why we've got Roseanne here to, to see to all that, and uh, you know the the several committee members too. Yeah, it's it's like I said, I, I used to, for 25 years ran one at church. <laughs> I got to the point where I just says I'm done. Right. Well, we couldn't do it without you know even just the support of the town council in approving the um, purchase of the new cooker, the public works department, you know, preparing the area for us. Right. The police department working that weekend for us. We have the fire police, the EMS on site, our fire watch. It, 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 it truly is a community event and couldn't be done with all these people. Not to forget all the sponsors, the local sponsors that we have. And it's not necessarily just monetary sponsors. It's people that are just giving us uh, in-kind services. Um, I hope everybody notices the beautiful new sign on Town Hall property. I just took a picture of it as I drove down and had to stop and call Pete Deo from New Haven Is that Signs. why you were late? Oh, <laughs> a little. <laughs> Uh, because I just was thrilled with that and that is just something he donates to us um, and and we couldn't do it without the support to Tuck at Times putting ads in the paper for us uh, we couldn't do it without the support of even the businesses in the community all right so it's the 6th 7th 8th and 9th there is still time if you want to go on the website and you've been totally uh, impressed with this this uh, production here and you want to volunteer to help there's still time to go on That's true. If, if if you there's something that you didn't see or we didn't discuss go on the website it, it's completely you know listed there and uh, and then if there's a question there's a phone number for the record that's correct the website yep, so they can, can ask for me and we'd like to present you with an honorary supervisor t-shirt oh, for great. having us on your show well thank you yes. maybe well, can I wear that around the house and maybe my, my kids <laughs> no, will you can finally wear it to the festival. think I'm a supervisor <laughs> there you go yeah. thank you very much <laughs> well thank you for having yeah. us <laughs> and it's it's very nice it's um, and I'd like to also thank today this is my as I mentioned my first show in four months and it's also the, this is the first time I've worked with this director, Mike Cummings, who uh, uh, has done an excellent job. It was like I've never been away, and uh, hopefully we'll continue, and hopefully we'll see you 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. You can make all four days. We'll have you all four well, days. If you can make one of them, <laughs> uh, we'll have one. And most of the time it's rain or shine, unless...
That's correct. You know, That's tables right. are blowing over, right. and one year tables were blowing over, and they were still having it. So, uh, yep. rain yeah. or shine. Well, there's a big. There's still going to be the big tent. To oh, eat absolutely. Under. absolutely. You got a big tent. Yep. Absolutely. Even you know, and the band's under the tent, so so That's you're correct. good to go. Right. No um, matter what. You know, Food vendors are under. You the can tent. still eat and drink, and uh, well, you can you can only drink. Uh, on al non alcoholic That's beverages. Correct. Right. But, uh, yep. No alcoholic beverages. We tried that property. for a few years, but we can't get the town to override that but one for four okay. days. <laughs> but that's that's better. You'll still have a good time. Uh, on the way home, you can go to one of the area pubs. And, and that's right. And that's it, what we know. hope this event does is bring other people outside the community into the community and support local businesses. Whether they stop and get a cup of coffee at Dunkin' Donuts or gas at the local gas station. It's bringing other people from outside North Brantford into the community. All right. And also not only that, it's bringing the other people into the community just to see what North Brantford has to offer. Yeah. Okay, I thank you for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you at the festival and I thank uh, Roseanne and uh, Bill and thank we'll you see for you down the road. Thanks for having <laughs> us, Frank. Hope to see you all at the festival. Come to the festival. <laughs>